Guys, today I'm fucking ecstatic. I bet you don't what that even means. Well, Obama, I'm not in the mood today. And guess who's in the driver's seat tweets? Yeah, I was wondering where the problem was. Bro, you are in my spot. But Joe, that's not even how you hold a steering wheel. Shut up, Obama. As I was saying, today I want us to try something new. In my new car. Where did you get the mullah, Biden? You are a broken old motherfucker. Did you sell cocaine to Hunter again? Fuck Donald, if you don't keep quiet, I'm gonna shove you out from my sweet ride and fuck you up. You are one of them, Biden, aren't you? You go fucking dudes around like Obama. What the fuck, what did you just say? So, guys, I have a good news. And what is it, sleepy man? So we were able to move that shitty analytics from 91% non-subscribed viewers to 85%. Wow, you deserve an ice cream for this good news, Joe. No. This shit this old man pulled out Mike, put it back sleepy. But guys, I want to ask you to help to move that number down even more. Yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button. And listen, my great speech with these clowns, a man- Shut up, Donald Duck. Also, I want to shout out to my boy. I want to shout out to my boy, Redraction at Paul 2744. Best comment is yours, man. By the way, I am Donald- Yeah, Donald? Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's move on, guys. Whatever. Yeah. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, so today I want us to go for a jet ski water race. But Joe, a jet ski water race. That's a bold choice. I didn't know you were into extreme water sports. Well, Barack, I figure if I can navigate the political waters, I can handle a few waves. Joe, are you sure your old ass wants to challenge these guys to a water race? <laughs> I mean, I've seen your coordination. Oh, calm Obama, I've been practicing. They say it's all about the hips. Oh, oh Biden, you've been practicing. That's cute, now is it taking you so far? I bet on my fucking ass you can't even see the road ahead. Do you need a pair of glasses, Mr. President Biden, sir? Speaking of the road, Donald, I also want to show off my driving skills. <laughs> that was a joke, right? Cause hey. it sounded like one. Hey, Stacy, I'm talking to you, fucking slut. Want to see my driving skills? Why don't you get your pussy a bow? Nobody wants to see your shitty driving style of asshole. Can you just leave that lady alone? Look at her, guys. Isn't she fabulous? She got some sweet cheeks. I would leave Jill for that. What the fuck is wrong with you, sick, perverted old man? With that big forehead, you can't pull no hose, Sleepy Joe. Fuck you, you orange piece of shit. I have already fallen in love. Talk about love at first sight. I think I should call Jill now. All right, all right, cut the crap. So let me see where we are heading to. A uh, hi, yes, today we are doing something fun. We are not going to commit organized crimes that put the safety of the entire world in jeopardy. Ooh, wait, I that almost forgot. That isn't a surprise. Obama, as we went to prepare for the cult canade, you said you feel safer when Donald is driving. Well, today, look who's behind the wheel. Well, today we are fucked. Oh, ooh, sweet Jesus, I'm gonna meet you today. Don't worry, Donnie, today the whole of Los Santos will appreciate my driving. They're gonna bow down to me as the king of driving and everyone will serve me ice cream and buy me a box of Legos. Oh, oh, Trump, can you give a pinch to Biden? I think he's zoned out again. On a scale of one through 10, how aware are you of what is happening around you? Stop doing trial tests of what Hunter receives from those Colombian guys and take your pills, hobo. Distinct this right hook from the left one bitch and leave my pretty ass alone, bro, with all that scientific with imagination and reality. I just want to do something fun. Did you just, your pretty ass, I knew something was off about you in the 2020 United States presidential election. I out, motherfucker. Why did you just knock off three motorcyclists? Do you want us to appear in the news that the presidents of America are murders? Yes, the mo motorcyclists, shouldn't they be on their own highway for two wheelers? Can't you see this is a car with four wheels, Obama? They are the one with a problem. Jesus Christ, you should probably win a Guinness World Record for dumbest USA president in history. Shut your black ass, Obama. You're so black, the difference between you and midnight is 11.59 p.m. You have to wear white gloves before you eat chocolate so you don't bite off your fucking fingers. <laughs> uh, my head. Oh, bro, that was pretty dark, Maha. No offense, Obama-rama. That was Salty Joe. I'm gonna have to roll cool with this one. Why don't you roll your ass back to Kenya? And if I may ask Joe, why are you going for water skiing at night? Mm -hmm. Cause it's fun and I love fun stuff, yeah. <laughs> when I thought of this bright idea, I wanted to do it before I forget it. So Biden, what's the plan? Thanks to you, we have the fucking police on our tails. I know hiding spot, it's just here ahead. Hiding spot? 
Is that where you sneak to snort cocaine with Hunter? Sick drift, by the way. Great. You led us straight to the cops, Biden. What you gonna do next, huh? Don't want to rat us out for robbing banks. What the, whose banks and when did we rob him? Somebody hold me or I'm gonna come there in front. And I'm gonna whoop this old fucker's ass like nobody's business. I'm not with it. You need to learn to shut up Joe and to maybe double the dose. You take daily to keep you sane enough to remember your name. Guys, guys, I need you to come down. With all your shouting, I'm not able to evade these cops. That's why I keep bumping into their flashy cars. Try thinking of Coke flavored ice cream, Biden. It will help you concentrate. Here, Sleepy Joe, are we still going into that jet ski water race? It's been two hours and all we have done is driven around like mad men with no sense of direction. What the hell, Biden, are you blind? I'm freaking out, bro. I can't shake off these pigs. Why don't you pull over? Come out from the car and tell them who you are. And guess what? They will really be excited to see you, Joe, and they will give you some candy and a popsicle. Yeah, and a life in... Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, Joe? You just 360 Ed's car into the air. Just so you know, you're never driving me again. Shh. Keep it down, Trump. The cops are gonna hear us. Let's stall in this secret hideout till the heat cools down. Guys, what's that funny smell? Nice, bro. No, you distracted me. We have just overturned and now I need a change of pants. Oh, cool. So that's where the smell comes from. Well, yeah, that and this leftover string cheese from last week I have in my... Well, look, Sleepy Joe, none of this would have happened if you wouldn't turn out to be a crackhead. Damn it, you didn't put crystals in my coffee earlier, did you, Don? I saw you chewing on some early morning. Are you on some meths, bro? Are you oblivious, dumbass? I can assure you I am not because if I do dunk, I would have already run for president in 57 countries simultaneously unlike you. You're a puppet. You know, you've never really been the president of the United States. In real sense, it's really your advisors that are running the country. Say no more, you fat, you fat buffoon. Stop talking to me and try to knock some of that weight off Trump. We're in Los Santos, not OB City. What the hell is Ob City? Does Obi Kenobi live or what? Ob City means obesity. Boomer. Joe, my man, what's with the X storm on Gaza and Israel? Barack, you know me just trying to keep up with the Kardashians. I mean, crises. It's a mess in the Middle East. It's this Gaza Israel clash causing quite a stir. Twitter, huh? I used to dominate that platform. Tremendous tweets, the best. People said I had the best words. Gaza and Israel are at it again, like a dysfunctional couple on a reality show. Airstrikes, rocket attacks, drama. It's like the real housewives of the Middle East. I did my part in the Middle East, you know? The Abraham Accords, historic stuff. Nobody thought I could do it, but I did. Guys in Israel have been trading airstrikes and rocket attacks. It's a mess, Barack. Civilians caught in the crossfire, tensions rising. Joe, any progress in resolving this? It's a delicate situation, Barack. We're urging de-escalation, working with international partners. But you know, it's like herding cats over there. Cats, I dealt with world leaders like a lion. No comparison. Speaking of lions, remember when I got bin Laden? Yeah, yeah, Osama, whatever. I did a lot for this country, too. Tremendous, indeed. Like the time you tried to buy Greenland. Or that Sharpie incident with a hurricane map. Very presidential, Donald. I was just keeping everyone informed, Joe. Joe, did you know Donald wanted to put his face on Mount Rushmore? So where are you racing to off exactly? Shut up, Obama. Your questions are of no value now. I am so excited now. Is this one for me? Oh. Look at this beauty. I hope it has turbo and nitro and all the goodies. Oh, goodness, Sleepy Joe. Who fooled you, goddamn demented old man? Pablo over there told me he had installed the latest tech. It's got GPS, Wi-Fi, and a cup holder that even fits my ice cream cones. GPS, Wi-Fi? What a load of malarkey. You look like malarkey. Quit fucking around and get your ass up here. Do you think you can handle this jet ski with your frail twig hands? Guys, if I do my math correctly, I can see there are only two seats in this crap. So are you bozos gonna leave me here all alone? Obamina, what the hell get your black ass out the, of the fucking way? Oh shit, my head. I told you to get out of the way. Trumpy Dumpty, now watch my frail twig hands go into action. Let's see what you got, old man. Yeah, let me first turn this shitty ass radio. It's making a lot of noise and I need to concentrate. Hold on to me tight, Trump. This will be a bumpy ride. What the fuck, Joseph, that's gay as fuck. Please, can you drop me? You're better off doing this race on your own. I don't want to be in a jet ski with a sick schizo. Ah! Somebody help. Ah! Stop screaming in my ear, you hippo. 
I just had ear surgery, and your bellowing is more painful than the recovery process. And also, I had better carry Obama instead of you. Your bloody hell weight is slowing my ass down. What is all this nagging about? Aren't you in the first place, which is actually a great shocker? I didn't expect you to be this good. Good. Well, unlike your tweets, I've got substance, Donald. And if you're surprised, just wait until I hit the turbo button. Trump, do you want to hear a story? Hell no, no, I am not in the mood for your goofy ass stories. Well, this is a tale that makes Paula Pritchard's contraband business look like a tea party. We're talking stock and gate prison, a place tougher than my attempts to keep my tie straight. Here we go again. Now in cell 3.47, we've got Paula Pritchard, a gal who'd give even me a run for my money in the scheming department. Scheming? Sounds like my kind of gal, Joe. Is she a Democrat? No, you maggot. She's serving a life sentence for murder, but that's not the main act. Her hatred for rats gives you a hint of her charm. Rats? Joe, we're talking about real rats, or are we diving into Washington, D.C. politics here? Actual rats, Donald. But these rats are smart. They live with Paula, share her cell. One of them, Rita, even had a mate, Rowley. Rowley. That's a better name than Crooked Hillary. I'll give you that. Well, Rowley's fate takes a twist when Paula, in a drug-induced haze, hurls a radio, hitting him square on. It's like a Shakespearean tragedy, but with more fur. Tremendous tragedy, Joe, but revenge is sweet. What happens next? Rita, the rap mastermind, hatches a plan during a surprise cell search. They collect SIM cards, hundreds of them, right under Paula's nose. That SIM cards? That's high tech for a prison story. Is this on Twitter? Not yet, Don, but it gets better. Paula, thinking she's the queen of the cell block, gets hauled away to solitary confinement. The rats throw a Christmas bash in her cell. So solitary, that's like being banned from Twitter, Joe, a fate worse than impeachment. And there you have it. Paul is facing more charges than my speechwriters on inauguration day. The rats, they won this round. Even got a security review for their troubles. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and Paula was fucked by those fucking rats. End of story. Nice story, Biden better tell it to Hunter. I'm sure he will love it. Hunter, my lovely son, you home. Where are we? Did I win the race? Oh, fuck. I just remembered we left our little bro Obama all alone by himself. We have to go and look for Obama Rama. Maybe run his little ass to Michelle. Oh, boy. That lady does frighten me. I wonder what it's like for him at home against Michelle. She could probably hold him on the head and launch him like a cannonball. All right, dumbass, tell me why Melania has been ignoring your ass ever since the mugshot. It's almost like she doesn't want to be seen with you. Well, Joe, you always have your sources. Melania and I are doing just fine. You know, a little mystery keeps the spark alive. More like a disappearance act. Is she auditioning for a magic show? Sawing a former president in half, perhaps? Joe, you've got jokes. Melania's a classy lady. She's just busy with her Be Best campaign. Be Best. Is that the campaign slogan or her personal to-do list? Because avoiding you seems to be at the top. Sleepy Joe, you may be onto something. Maybe she's secretly taking notes from Michelle on how to handle a president. Michelle is a force to be reckoned with. If I ever tried pulling a stunt like yours, she'd launch me into orbit faster than you can say fake tan. Joe, you're not wrong. Michelle is a powerhouse. But Melania has her own style. She's the queen of understatement. Joe, you're a character. Maybe you should give Melania some comedy lessons. Spice up the White House a bit. Melania doing stand-up. Now that's a show I'd pay to see. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two about keeping a straight face. Now, where is that bitch Obama? Trump, can you go looking for him? I found him. He was in the sewers, maybe trying to get his shit together or maybe looking for Michelle. Whatever. First, I got to deal with that asshole over there. Deal was winter gets vanilla and strawberry ice cream and candy and Legos. But this fucker is giving me nothing. And because of that, kiss this bullet, motherfucker, and make sure to say hi to George Bush for me. Hey, tell your buddies to remain still so that I can get a nice shot. Why the fuck are you shooting at me, Obama? Come out like a real man and stop hiding there like a pussy. I can't watch you shoot those good people and get away with it, considering the fact you left me all alone. So, this is what it is all about. You should have not probably come. Joe, I needed a break from your endless ice cream debates. I swear you have more opinions on flavors than policies. Well, Barack, when you said you needed some me time, I didn't think you meant a solo mission to the golf course. You sick fuck. Joe, I needed a break from your endless ice cream debates. I swear, you have more opinions on flavors than policies. Well, someone needs to address the important issues, like Rocky Road versus mint chocolate chip. It's a tough job, but I'm up for the challenge. Can you take your fight elsewhere? I'm not going to stand here in the middle of your crossfire listening to your girly arguments. Um, off, guys, I have crystals to cook and hose to marinate. 
Take these motherfuckers. Mm. You're rotten hell, all of you. Fuck you, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Have you lost your fucked mind again? I better get the hell out of here. What are you waiting for, Trumpy Humpty Dumpty? Get the hell out of here, or maybe let me use this RPG, and in no time, you will be charred and be as black as Obama. Hey, he is not here, shit.